Hey everybody, uh, Brian here from quantlabs.net. What you're looking at is my uh, Ubuntu desktop Linux uh, environment. Got the current version of 12.04 installed. What I wanted to show you was something really, really, really amazing. Um, uh, for those that know, I am using our studio as my art uh, equivalent IDE to integrate development environment. It's a really cool little uh, tool. Uh, very powerful actually. Um, but I just want to show you two packages uh, for R um, that are really, really amazing. Uh, the first one is uh, one called uh, RCPP, Seamless R and C++ Integration. Also I have a second one here called R and Cypher. They're from the same developers. Um, share their names. I believe it's uh, Dirk and Romy, I believe. Um, my apologies to them, but they have developed something really incredible here um, and uh, let me just f first say this uh, last year a lot of people have known me to try to integrate uh, a C-sharp trading application uh, open source to integrate and call MATLAB R or MATLAB M scripts MATLAB uh, M files um, I was able to do it no problem and it's, it's not too hard um, the difficulty there was, uh, if you see in the YouTube channel at quantlabs.net, you'll see a demo of it, where um, the C++ or sorry, C Sharp application is loads up and then will load in, in in memory the DLL for the MATLAB compiled runtime. You'll see a lag. Um, if you see that video, uh, it kind of makes me question on that stack as a way to do uh, prototyping and researching uh, with some kind of analytical tool for quant or even technical trading and blend it with a tra trading platform. I can tell you uh, what I've discovered here going from Windows to a Linux environment using now C++ as well as R. I want to show you how fast this thing is there is literally no latency and I'm quite impressed with it uh, and again it's open source <laughs> meaning there's no going to be no uh, expenses that come with it so let me go back to my R studio so you can just do your typical uh, install package uh, real easy R inside RCPP easy lickety split uh, it will install it from CRAN meaning you're going to get the latest milestone release so hopefully you can install that with some confidence now let's go over to uh, what is installed in my um, R environment or um, the, uh, the R environment. So right here I'm going to be focusing on R inside under the examples. Um, there's either MPI or standard. Um, so there's two options that we can use here. Um, the first one is uh, the standard. Uh, very easy to uh, make. All you do, well, let me just show you. If, if you're new to RC uh, to um, to uh, to C++ or you're kind of not familiar with it, uh, you can just come to this directory where everything gets expanded into. Uh, once you install the R inside, uh, here I am under um, the uh, that 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 folder under standards and if you type in make uh, it will make all the objects and bin files or equivalent of executables in Windows um, for the example so you have a number here of R inside sample 1 to all the way up to I believe it's 11 um, let me just show you what we got here um, yeah, so you have, uh, I believe it's, I think it's 11 samples and two tests. So let me just show you one of them. And what it's going to do is that these, uh, let me just show you the source code for one of them. So let's say uh, I want to uh, execute um, uh, one of the test ones. So in my case, uh, let, let, let's keep it nice and easy. I'm, I'm going to load up the source code for um, the the um, the, uh, um, the C++. So I'm going to load it up. 
and here's your source code. Um, it's a lot cleaner. <laughs> it's a lot simpler than with what MATLAB and Mat what Mat MathWorks is set. Um, you can see the output, hello world, uh, and it just creates the object, and it does something very simple. So let me run it, uh, and here's the created um, bin version or the executable if you're from Windows. Um, and let me uh, show you how quick it is. It's 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 uh, very very fast. So I'm going to run the um, R inside uh, test zero app. So what it's going to do? This is now the C plus um, plus, and then it's going to run the R inside underscore test zero bin file. So what it will do once I uh, execute this? It will load up the R script uh, or the R command line processor and then execute those R commands I just showed you in the uh, C++ source. So see how, look, look how fast this is. A little bit of a delay um, and it's done. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, if I do the same thing with the one, um, there's a bit of a lag but nothing to get all flustered about it's it's a bit faster than with MATLAB um, and uh, I just want to show you another example uh, of this uh, app uh, this R inside um, uh, 11 will, cr will will basically execute a, a plot which we, we, we just flashed up there so let me just uh, run that one um, and then I believe it's 11 off she goes and there you go there's the and that's from the command line, um, but uh, I just uh, broken that uh, process. But the R inside is really impressive. Uh, the code is clean. It seems to be fairly fast. Runs w integrates seamlessly with uh, the um, C plus plus and R together. So I've now met my mission of um, trying to. Uh, run like the equivalent of C Sharp or any .NET app, including Visual C++, which was another hard process, uh, let alone uh, doing this in Linux with C++, calling directly a R script with R specific uh, commands. So, so that can be done. Now, this is really cool. If you come under uh, the MPI, this will now demonstrate the um, parallelization with R coming being called from a C++ application. This thing just gets better and better. Um, I've shown you some of the uh, possibilities that you could get using R to parallelize from within R, but now you have the ability to run a C++ uh, application uh, calling um, R, and at the same time you can take those threads and parallelize them. That is amazing. Um, you would not be, have been able to do that, I don't think, with MATLAB coming from uh, C Sharp. Maybe you could. I'm not sure if you would be able to uh, have a C Sharp application call MATLAB through the Mat MATLAB uh, um, MCR, the, the coding runtime, and then have it call the parallelization toolbox. I'm not sure if that was possible. But looking at this, um, I, I'm going to take a large assumption that can be done fairly sim uh, seamlessly. Again, uh, let's just take a look at that code. So, again, you can see how fairly simple it is. I haven't run it myself. I might do it down the road, but I, I, I'm, I'm kind of a lazy guy. I just don't want to load up this MPI right now or load up the libraries or whatever. But it looks like something can be done. Uh, very exciting stuff to, to see this combination of R inside. Uh, with now that I've just discovered this parallelization, uh, that that's amazing to be able to now uh, use that as a bedrock to be able to develop um, a very powerful uh, HFT platform, calling directly our our scripts and our commands, um, or sorry, our functions off right from within the C++, and that's again in Linux. Um, and again, um, if you can take out uh, and do this on the server end and not use a Linux desktop version like I have here with the Ubuntu desktop. Uh, it's a very deadly combination and it seems to work great. And again, you are not doing any black box, you're not doing anything with commercial. 
uh, it's a hundred percent source code that you own or not own but you you have access to to debug it to your heart's content uh, a really 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 compelling um, uh, combination of things to develop a, a really powerful HFT platform so the next step is to see if I can get that trading shim running um, and getting everything working in this one platform now combined with our our inside uh, we're I'm definitely on to something here that's very compelling um, and uh, exciting from my end all right hopefully you feel it too